to get some of our docs from Premier Healthcare to meet with Mr. Ozeva and talk about his grandson and, and where Kingston's going in the future. And we're going to continue to support what they're doing. Can you get you in the middle? Yes, thank you, Pat. That's a great good in the middle. Now you're good. Now you're good. Just looking at this camera first. Now you're good.
is being a loving mother to her son, Kingston. With the unconditional support of Cricket's father, Farhan, Cricket has discovered that the ingredients for successful parenting include patience, optimism, diligence, love, and the hard-won knowledge that some of our best creations do not come from following recipes. Let's take a moment to meet Cricket and her family. I discovered Kingston had some developmental delays uh, upon his 18-month checkup at the pediatrician. And the doctor um, suggested that we contact someone about getting some early intervention services. I, uh, I was a first-time mother. Uh, I was doing it alone. Someone suggested that I contact IAI Lifestart. Um, that they had heard wonderful things about the agency, and um, they were right. The therapists through YAI Lifestart were really with Kingston and me um, throughout some huge developmental milestones that were really meaningful. The first time he said the word mom, which, you know, is actually still his own word today. They were there when he took his first step. They were there when he fed himself his own first bite. They really, they've, they've helped him uh, and celebrate many very meaningful developments. And after uh, early intervention um, and all the support that YI Lifestar gave, Kingston went on to go to preschool at Roosevelt, um, which was an amazing community for both him and me. He really, really had a lovely, lovely time at Roosevelt. He was there for both years, uh, for the three, the threes and fours. Um, and while they were supporting him, they were also supporting me. I really, I don't know how I would have gone through this process with Kingston without the support that I had from, from my YII family. We only had a diagnosis for Kingston just this past December. So he was five and a half years old. We made a lot of friends and had a lot of appointments between um, 18 months and, and the five and a half year mark where he got a diagnosis of mitochondrial disease, complex one. Well, certainly uh, Roosevelt experience was significant. The level of uh, attention that he received to be the first one, the amount of care that uh, he received, and the quality of the people who they were caregiver to the market. There are very many organizations like YAI who are totally dedicated to this cause. So I'm pleased that uh, he was able to support the organization in a way, and I'm grateful to my friend John Casimitidis, who introduced me to the organization. He really, when he left, was able to um, accomplish some of our pre-kindergarten kinds of activities that would be useful for him when he moved into the kindergarten setting. The quality of the kids play, the level of attention that they give is inspiring.
accomplished family. And disabilities has actually no target. It doesn't matter who you are. Let me tell you a little bit about Fahadis. Former President Bill Clinton appointed Mr. Rosima to the United States Economic Development Commission and his Committee on the Middle East Conflict Resolution. Mr. Rosima has handled important assignments all over the world for both the United States Department of Defense State during his career. Under former President Clinton's global initiative, Mr. Azima has handled relief supplies, transportation, logistics for both Indonesia and Haiti, often at his own expense. In fact, there have been a number of weather disasters in the world, from typhoons, earthquakes, that Fahad Azima donated his aviation resources to deliver emergency relief. I know Fahad is very proud of Children's Shoebox, the gift program he provided to the Reverend Billy Graham in churches and houses of worship throughout the world. And most recently, this man that YI is honoring tonight with his family members has funded an orphanage that takes care of some 340 children near Nairobi in Kenya. And he is actively engaged in building a 460-bed hospital in Kabul, Afghanistan, due to open in September 2014. For Hanazima, on top of all, has accomplished in his career professionally and philanthropically. We are most gratified and appreciative for his generation just tonight, and more importantly, to what he's meant to his daughter, Cricket, and his grandchild, Kingston. Please welcome Cricket and Farhad Azima. Kingston, and this is about 
mothers that have who have imperfect, you deal with imperfect people. So I am proud of my daughter. I take this opportunity to thank you one more time, John Kesketinus, Mado, who introduced me here. Really, really, really. 